Aquarius, come on in, put your feet up, and make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Aquarius, I'm wearing a wig today. I thought I'd have long hair for a change. Maybe, possibly, I hate my short hair. I don't know. You guys say you like it, but I'm not feeling it right now. Right. Aquarius, what do you need to know about love? What guidance does the universe got for you in love? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks. And the best price would probably be from Patreon. And on TikTok now, Gen TV Tarot and Rumble, Gen TV Tarot One, Gen TV Tarot One, yes. Those are queries need to know about. I hear you. God, yeah, you've got a lot of waiting energy here. And an answer to it. I have an answer for you. Bottom of the deck, two of cups, lovely. So we've got a very strong waiting energy. The reason is, you know, you've been healing in this time. You might be waiting for a long time, but you kind of needed to. Even if in your mind or your heart, you felt like you were ready to move on and meet somebody else, you weren't. So there's been a lot of waiting going on here. And what you need to know right now. All right then, universe, thank you for this. Oh, oh more, more, more patience. Are we, more patience? Mm. Okay. Really? Don't worry, I can see what's coming up here, it gets better. Sorry, I'm giving a bit of a sassy shoulder there. Saucy shoulder. Ooh. I might show you my ankles next. Very Victorian of me. All right, what does Aquarius need to know right now? Why waiting? Why is this waiting? Why more waiting? Ooh. Things are being woven, I heard. Yes, things are being woven. You have to wait a little bit longer because things are being woven now. You've proven yourself that you are ready, that you've done the healing that you needed to do. The universe is believing you now. So it's start, all right, let's kick things into action. Yes, so it's, it's weaving its magic now, okay? You're detaching from a energy within yourself that's toxic and needy. You might think it's gone, or you might have thought that it was gone for a while, but it's still just a little bit there. You're, you're, you're almost there, so just a little bit more patience, but things are being woven. There's that test coming up. I'm glad you're here seeing this because now I can pre-warn you that a test is coming up. Are you going to pass this test and move forwards and the universe can go, all right, that stuff I was weaving, let's go. Or are you going to be needy? Are you going to be, now this is somebody who, it's like they, uh, they can't really function on their own. They can't really f function without somebody. 
they need someone in their life. They, uh... I don't know, I'm just trying to kind of um, find the right words so that you don't get offended. <laughs> this is someone who needs somebody else. Who's not, like, stable on their own. I'm not saying that you're, you know, unhinged or anything, don't worry. It's just, you know, some this is somebody who needs support in a relationship. You need to be in a relationship to feel safe and happy. So, are you going to pass the test or are you going to be this? Let's have a look. You're moving on. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Are you going to pass the test? Yes, you're going to pass the test. You're going to be full on Nine of Pentacles. This is stable. This is standing in your power. You've learnt your lesson. You've gone through the healing that you needed to go through. To ever feel like you need someone to be happy in your life ever again. When you're like that, your happiness can be taken away from you so easily. But when you're happy within yourself and you're not relying on someone else to fill a void within you, because there is no void, because you're just fan and dandy on your own, then you're good, right? The best you can hope for. Oh, yeah! Ace of Cups, new beginnings. Cups are about emotions and love. That cup's overflowing with love. Look at that. Splish. The best you can hope for? Yes! You? You're still a little bit like, oh! Why aren't things moving? want things balanced in my life now. Just a thought. It's just a, it's just a thought. I want you to kind of think about what you're willing to accept in a relationship and what you're like absolutely not going to accept like open relationships that kind of thing are you willing to accept that are you willing to accept uh being spoken down to are you willing to accept the Always having to watch what you say, always wondering if like they're reading into what you're saying more than what you're actually saying or walking on eggshells around a person. No. So what are your boundaries here? What are you willing to accept in a relationship? And what is your... What is your no-no? No, 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 no. Nope, we're not doing that. We're not having that. It's good for you to start thinking about that now. This is like uh, what's been woven by the universe. So the outcome here. You know, it's interesting because there isn't somebody else that I really see in this which is like a big part of what I do with the extendeds. So for you, I'm going to do a little bit of a different extended. You've been waiting around for a long time. You were 
you're ready for some changes. So in the Excel, I'm going to ask about, you know, when's the universe going to stop weaving its magic and, and allow change to come in? When, how long are you going to have to wait? And some potential outcomes, potential outcome in the near future romantically for you some guidance from the universe but what we've got here this is your outcome three of wands this is about moving forwards this is about your ships coming in finally oh yeah that's good why is the three of wands here in the outcome When you finally stick to your guns and you don't ignore big old wavy red flags just to fill that space in your life, fill that void that isn't really there, then you have your new beginning. If somebody treats you badly and, uh, well, coldly even, cut them out. Somebody's aloof, doesn't let you know what page you're on, cut them out. You don't need them. Right? Don't let your past hold you back. Keep moving forwards, always. Your song lyric of the day. I know you have issues with trust. Believe in me, I know you must. I want to turn that around and believe in love, but I don't feel good enough. That's a song by me, Good Enough. If you look in my playlists, there's one called My Music. That's a song called Good Enough. I wrote it. I did. Um, I don't know what I'm doing now. I've been pulling another deck. No, I'm not. I've done. Sorry, I got a little confused there. Uh, you have any, you know, any idea how many decks I've got in front of me? Eight decks. <laughs> like, no, no, those are for the extended. Okay, I'm going to take it into the extended. Sorry, sorry. I'm... Anyway, thanks for joining me. See you later.